Welcome everybody to a brand new season, season 11 of Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, or as we like to call it, CB Cubed. CB Cubed indeed. We are ready to bust open some temporal forces boxes, and last season we have decided we were going to open it up beyond the uh, 144 person limit. So we've also got some of these individually sealed boosters. Uh, we wanted to try and pull as many packs from as many different kinds of sources as possible to get as much truly random stuff ever. So we're gonna have a total of 39 contestants today. Yeah, and then also Big Steve. And Big Steve. Yeah, who's gotta be opening up his packs as well. So it should be a very exciting start to the season. We've yeah. already opened a couple of the Temporal Forces boxes ourselves, and we've pulled some really cool stuff to get things going. So I'm feeling really strong that this is gonna be an action-packed season. As am I, let's go. As ever, let's take a quick look at the rules. Jay and I will be opening a booster pack from the latest collection. Any rare cards, cards that feature a star, score points. Scoring is very simple. We head on over to the current price list on TCG Player and determine your rare card or card's value. That value is rounded up to the nearest whole number. But the fun doesn't stop there. Each week, we'll also spin the wheel of energy to determine this episode's type advantage. If the energy in your pack matches the type advantage, then your entire pack gets a two times multiplier. And you get an additional point for each mon of that type in your your pack. Lastly, there are also three randomly chosen common chase cards that are worth one additional point each. So if your energy card matches the type advantage, you pull two randomly chosen common chase cards and your rare card is worth $3.75, that will be rounded up to four plus two points for the common chase cards gives you six points times two for the energy and your final score is 12. As ever, it is now time for the Wheel of Energy. Woo! Jay, would you like to do the honors? Do you remember what was the high? Because when we were pulling, what was the highest amount? It always feels like it's grass I or know. fighting, maybe. Well, but let's we'll see. see. Grass, fighting, water, or fire would be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, one of them. What do we got today? It's going to be water. Water. Some teardrop. Let's get. You know what? I just moved the Vaporeon out. So now, you know what? I'm going to move. We'll assume it meant ice. We'll move Glacy on it. Oh! Done that wow. in a while. Wow. Drop the light. So yeah, will we ever have reason to put Glaceon in center stage? I don't think so. Could this be a first? <laughs> this is it. We just had no, Vaporeon is my favorite, so I'm I would typically lean there, but since it was up there last season, there we go. We'll mix it up. There you go, Glaceon stands. <laughs> or, or Glack for short. Glack is I like, exactly. Okay, what would you call Glack. it? Glace. Glace. Glace is kind of cool. Yeah. I don't hate it. Hey, what about a randomly chosen common chase cards? Today's randomly chosen common chase cards are going to be Turtwig, Palafin, and Licky Licky. Licky Licky. Yeah, yes. so fun stuff there. Is Licky Licky somehow like a pre-descendant or post-descendant of Lickitung? It is the evolved form of Lickitung. Yes. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay. So it has a big Wi-Fi symbol on its tummy. Why? I, dude, I have no fi. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh man, okay, well that'll be something to look for today. The other thing that I think we can look for is I believe that there is an uncommon card worth a whopping three yes. points this season, a trainer card. Maybe yes. Buddy the, Buddy Puffin. Buddy Buddy Poffin. Poffin. Yes. So, Buddy Buddy. Buddy Buddy. Buddy Squared. Yeah, B Squared Poffin. Poffin. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So in my head, I thought it was Buddy Puffin. No. But it's Buddy Buddy Poffin. Buddy Buddy Poffin. Buddy Buddy Poffin. Okay, so we'll be on the lookout for that. Was there another one? There is. It is the, uh, whatever the special energy of the Mist. set is. Mist, Mist energy. energy. Yes. So, Buddy Buddy Poffin, for the first time ever, will be worth three points. And then the Mist energy, anytime that shows up, will be worth two points. So, we do have a little, fun little uh, bits of point modifiers in there. The other cool thing to look out for is the Ace Spec cards. These are just like shiny pink trainer cards that you want to play one of in your deck. They are so cool. They are so cool looking yeah. and they're all worth uh, like 15 points or something. Okay. Or around there. Videos. They're okay. they're pretty valuable. So if we see one come out, we know to scream. Yes, indeed. Anyway, without any further ado, let's do this. All right, our first contestant of the season for Temporal Forces is gonna be Tex. Tex. Tex, long time player in the game. I'm just gonna pull it right here. Front pack, this is it. This is gonna be crushing it. You're just gonna come out of the gates, you know, gun swinging. As it were, if I can open the pack. We're off to a great start, as you can tell. Boom, here we go. 
Bam, we do not have any type advantage just yet. We have the Cedar, the Totodile will score, the Deerling, the Pidove, Rescue Board, Rabombi, Hand Tripper, the Vikavolt will not, the Pidove, oh, it's a critical hit on the first one with an Iron Thorns. Oh man, number 62 on the set. Let's see what Let's that see. does for us. Get to use my, my marker as per always, see what we, we've collected so far. 17 cents for the Iron mm. Thorns. Okay, so that is just gonna be a, a four point pack there for Tex. Not a bad way to start the season. We've been looking at ahead at some of the other low value cards because we had so many last placers uh, last, last season. season. And I think we have the lowest value ever at two cents. Two cents for, for the, the Mel Metal. Yes, for the lowest value rare card. So there is like a world where you could pull two Mel Metals and still be worth less than a single five cent card, which yeah. is absurd. That's crazy. All right, then next up we have Sir Dobbington. Sir Dobbington. Coming in, I think this is Sir Dobbington's first three-pack season. Okay. Because they joined us back in season nine, and they've doubled their points each time uh, to four points to eight points. So 16-point pack. Let's see it. Let's see it. We got the raucous pummeling there. We got the the Litten, the Shroomish, the Lickitung, but not the mm. Licky Licky. Yep. The Charge of Bug, the Iron Hands, Morty's Conviction, the Shiftry, the Ekans will not score, the Meltan will not score, which leaves the just the Dunsparce. The Dunsparce which I also think is a very low value card. Mm, so well, let's, let's check see. really quick. Number 129 on the set is going to be worth just 14 cents there. All right, make note of that for possible last place. Congrats, you're in last place. You are in last place, but you know, don't get cocky. Yeah, don't get cocky. There's so many more worthless cards in this set. It's only round one, dude. It's only round one. All right, next up, then we have Conrad. Conrad. And it's our first contestant for Rookie of the Day. Oh boy, all right, let's see it, Conrad. Brand new to the game is Conrad. How are they going to do in their first pack? We have seen rookies come out and score huge. We've seen them come out and score very bad. Small. Very small. So let's see, where is Conrad going to land here? The Rock is pummeling energy. Hutu, Beldum, Heatmore, Rolicoli, Iron Valley, Sharpedo, Sharpedo scores. scores. Metagross, Torcat, Electabuzz does not, and Incineroar! Incineroar! Looks to me like Bulk EX, if I had to guess, but we'll see. It is indeed, number, mm -hmm. that's gonna be number 34 on the set, will be worth 63 cents there for the Incineroar, go. who I will say is one of my mains over on Super Smash Bros. Dude, I know. Which, if you ever want to play Smash with us, we actually do have a tier available over on Patreon, where you get an hour once a month to come and play Smash with Jay and I, it's been a lot of fun. There we go, all right, well Conrad has uh, two points. Two points? for Conrad. For rookie of the day. Currently winning, and I think we have four in the mix today, I believe. Yes, yes. Yeah. So with two points for Conrad, points, right? So yep. There we go. There we go. All right, next up we've got Tyler Gillies, longtime player of the game, the exact opposite of Conrad, a big time veteran. Yeah, going back all the way to season two. Yes, their best performance has been in season five where they rocked out 57 points. Goodness gracious, we'll see if they can do it again today. We got that fireball energy there, the Bramblin, the Giraffe Rig, the Rosalina, the Cutie Fly, the Bee... Uh, the Bee Bee yeah. Bee why Beheem. not? The Rapidash, the Boltund, the... I'm feeling like water might not be our type. It's mine not, yeah. The, the Metatite will not score, the Sawsbuck will not score, and that... For really alligator. alligator. I want to say this for Alligator is it's pretty bad. It's low value. It's eight, like five eight cents, cents for eight the cents. For alligator. Oh no. Yeah, so. Well, we said it earlier, don't get a big head, because now already new last place. It's this for alligator, wow. which fun fact. So if you watch the Nuzlocke back in the day, you know that for alligator it gets a little bit we're just gonna go ahead and censor out his booty there because we don't want him, you know, this is a family friendly show. Well, that's exactly right, that's exactly right. So yeah, we'll just make yeah, sure so. that's not there. Yeah. And if you don't understand this joke, then go watch the Nuzlocke, and you'll love it. <laughs> <laughs> One of the, someone's like, why are you coloring up my card? <laughs> We're sorry. We're sorry, but not that sorry, Tyler Gillis. I'm protecting your eyes. Exactly. Maybe okay. one day they'll be, have like a PSA 10 for alligator that's been authentically marked up by the guys on Car uh, Carlin Mother's Box Breakers, which we like to call it TV Cube. Exactly, yeah. Uh, yeah. That'd be pretty funny. Uh, all right. Next up we have Opal Tano. Am I up or you up? Oh God, I've already lost track. Right, I'm gonna go for it. Go for it, dude. All right, all right we got Opal Tano. Only her fourth season in the game. Okay. Probably related to Ahsoka, I believe. That's the I, common I mean, th you know, thought. It's certainly the We can't belief. confirm it, because you know it was a long time ago. Slugma. Solosis, the Skitty, the Electabuzz, 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 we yeah. got it, the Bianca's Devotion, the Iron Jugulus, the Lycanroc, the Azumarill will not score, the Bronzor will not score, oh, and then the Fluttermane. Fluttermane! Fluttermane! You gotta say, it looks like single point as well there for Opal Tano. Yes, indeed, but 41 cents mm. for that Fluttermane, so not even exactly a good low value card because it's just not low value enough. Just not low value enough. There we go. All right, Opal Tano in the box. Next up, we have got Dieter 56. Dieter Dieter. Who, 
uh, di- diet. Wow, could, could be diet, or could I be don't dieter. know. Maybe they're maybe they're watching their figure. All right, they are a former rookie of the day, though a champion back in season eight when they debuted in the game. Can they outdo themselves? That's been their best performance. They came out of the came out of the gate swinging, but uh, have only kind of gone downhill from there. Right, right. Okay. Looking for a return to form. They've never had more than one pack in a season, though. That is so <laughs> funny. Sort of yeah, kind of like an oh! interesting time. There we go. We got, the, we we go. got the multiplier. We got the type advantage. Type advantage. Pine go. Mawa. Have we had a single? I don't think so. Uh, Chase a Turwig, card? Palafin, or a Licky li- 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 Tongue, and the Roaring Moon. Oh, no. Wow. Man. I'm pretty sure that's just going to be a two-point pack here. We'll write down the value. Let's see. Which... Yeah, number 109 is going to be worth 55 cents for that Roaring Moon. So nothing terribly exciting for for dieter there coming out of the gates, but that's okay. That's okay. Everybody's just warming up. It's Everybody's like up. it's a new box. It's a new set. We're all just kind of getting acclimated. Everyone's it's testing hard. the water. Right. No yeah. one wants to jump out to a lead first. Exactly. Exactly. You know? It's like you don't want to. You don't want to be like you know putting a putting a target on your back. Exactly. All right. Next up, we have Vincent. Who uh, was did Vincent finally win the last place last season? I believe so. I believe so. Yeah, yes, Vincent. yes. After uh, double overtime. Double overtime, which we've never had before. Yeah, there we go. So the show the, continues to surprise me. The eyeball energy, the drill burr, the rail lore, the ponyta, the chatot, the mud sail, the cipher maniacs code breaking. Why <laughs> oh, not? That's a fun one to say. The saws buck, the knocked owl will not score, the mighty yena, mighty yena, mighty yena, and then the walking wave. Walking yeah. wave, which yes. will get an extra point for being yeah. water. Yes, yes, indeed. So number fifty on the set. Good save on the. Uh, let's hype there, Jay. All right, so the thing about Walking Wake is there is the illustrator version is actually, I think, like the third best card in the set. So how is this one going to This is us? unfortunately just going to come in at 80 cents. Oh, so no, it's still, a single point. Just a well, the, well, two points, I guess, because of the type of Oh, you're right. There, oh, my yeah. gosh. So, I'm the one, and then I forgot. I know. That's okay, though. It's okay. Um, yeah, so we're we're still we're still waiting. We got a couple of full arts in in the mix here so yeah. far. Nothing nothing of extreme value quite yet. I know. I'm pretty sure in all the boxes out of them, there's been at least two A specs per box. So I don't know if that's like a standard thing, but right. So right. far, that's been the average. So we'll be on the lookout for that. Next up, we've got Bubsy. Bubsy. All right, Bubsy had a nice season last time. 18 points, very solid. Very solid indeed. Yeah. Let's see. This is uh, we're getting a lot of Team Fire out of the. This is already our what one two three four fifth. Fire player? Yeah, Alrighty. let's see. But Team Grass, I, so far with uh, Tex, our, our starting pack does have the high score of the day. So well, there you go. Classic Gra- Team Grass. Returning I mean, to form, perhaps. They, they had a terrible season last season, but they're like, that's it, guys. We're coming back. We're coming back. Grubbin, Medicham, Rosary, Keldeo, Iron Jugulus, the Mudbray, the Litten, and the Flutter Main. So it's just going to be a two point pack here. Bam, there you go with the Flutter Main. Already showed up twice. Man, that is a bummer. All right, next up we've got uh, Carly. Carly, okay, yes. Carly is like one of the most consistent players. Like, I wouldn't even be surprised if Carly has the highest overall point total. You might be right. I was like, why did I write down wow under Carly's name? It's because Carly's always bringing it. Carly always brings it. Such consistent yeah. gameplay. So let's find out. I'm pretty sure the top card in this set is worth something like 97 what? points. Oh my gosh. Can so you imagine. Could you imagine? We got the, tar- the Dark Teardrop. We got the Bramble and the Giraffe the Rosalina. Yep. Rosalia. Roselia. I'm so sorry. The Cutie Fly, the Salvatore. Palafin. The Palafin will score twice. twice. The Screamtail, the Puccina. Puccina. Yeah, the Puccina. There yeah. we go. Ooh. Will not score the screen. Oh, tail. critical hit, Ben! There we go. Got Carly! The oh my gosh, once again, but the drama. Oh no. Uh, but kind of an adorable mm. little drama. I mean, the, if nothing else. We pulled the illustrator drama. It's so cool looking. I think it's only worth like two bucks, but it is awesome. So yes. I hope someone gets it. Yes, indeed. Let's see. Yeah, so that drape is only going to come in at five cents. Ma- five so cents. Oh, no. It's about as low as you can go other than just a little bit lower. And yet, Carly still manages to turn her five cent pack into a six point play. Wow. Because, which is good enough for first place. Oh, my gosh. Classic, classic Carly. Don't just, get a big head. Yeah. And then Team Electric, who I believe was the reigning team champions. That's where Carly hails from. So Carly immediately putting a nice, strong form out there for Team Electric. It is crazy. Crazy how certain players just hit the big numbers every time. Every time. I mean, like, now that now that six is that crazy, but like compared to everything else right. we've had today, it's like, it's it's like you out. had a critical hit. You know, you did yes. it. You we know? have reason to put Carly in the conversation. She's a top of the leaderboard. Exactly. Well done to Carly. <laughs> All right. Next up, we have not Lauren. Not Lauren. All right. Who um is. This is their second season, I think. They did maybe? great in their debut with 26 points. They sure did. It, the, yeah, I didn't write Rookie of the Day on there, so I don't know. Anyway, we have Electric uh, coming out of the gate here, and we've got 
Hoot Hoot, Beldum, Heatmore, Roly Coly, Golurk, Shaman, Fortress, Elgium, Pikachu, that's adorable, and <gasps> Baralagator! So we know that's just a single point there. I'll go ahead and make sure we give you a nice family friendly uh, for alligator as well. There we go indeed. Yeah, You're just welcome. Eight, eight cents because that is a one point uh, attack there. So something to keep in mind as we go forward for that last place award, which as a reminder, you do have to have at least two packs on the season in order to qualify for last place. So if you are interested in getting in the game and you think you might be a last place contender, be sure to sign up now. Patreon.com slash Super Carlin Gaming. Yeah. All right, next up we have got Lauren B from The Bachelor. Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. Naturally, so Everyone we got knows. Lauren, Lauren type people back to back because one was not Lauren. One was not one is, Lauren. This is, is Lauren. decidedly Lauren. Yeah. So um, we got that going for us. Let's see what Lauren B can do. Well, it seems like grass is what we want to pull. Multiplier for Lauren yep, B. Got the multiplier. Yep. There we go. So we'll keep track of that. We got the cotton. Oh, boom. There we go. That'll score the uh, the, the Kirkwood Kirkwood, will yep, score. The perilous jungle. The unfazent. Unfazent. Uh, unfazent. Duh. It reminds me of like unfazent. Yeah. Unfazent. There we go. The one move I know from chess. The center scorch. The golette will not score. The grottle will not score. And the maridon right will. will. So, so six points. It's looking like. Yeah, one, two, three. Let's show double tuck that Mariah on number one twenty one on the set. Twenty five cents there. So well, there we go. You know what? That's good enough for a tie for first place, and it's electric. Wow! So Team electric is coming out, and they're Already. like, y'all, we want that double, we double back to back, back championship. To back. Very impressive. So yeah, Team Electric, the only two with anything above five points on the day. So sitting strong atop the leaderboard. All right, and then we have another Team Electric player, Reagan, coming up, or Reagan, I should say. Let's see what they can do. They will be pretty much adding to it because I think we've only had two electric players. Only so. two and they both got six points. Uh, yeah, so. so they're they're leading the pack today. Can we see even bigger numbers? We have Eyeball Energy, Tranquil, Mr. Mime, Raichu, Victini, Delmize, Electivire, Chinchino, the Drillbur will not score, the Cutie Fly will not score, and oh. the Macargo. Wow. We well, go. it will add to the electric point total for now. But only just barely. That's a five cent card for one point. Man, all right. Well, I think you're in last place, or at least tied with that for alligator. That's right. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So way to go, Raygon. Oh yeah. Hey, don't put your energy card. Oop. Wow. I'm sure you're gonna want that of all the cards we of, pulled. Of all the cards. All right. Next up is Annika, like Annika. Harmonica. That's right. For Team Water. Here we go. All right, Annika. You're my current current favorite player current in the favorite game. Player, right. to know. Yeah, the drill burr, the relor, the ponytail, the chat shot. Up. The heavy baton, the iron valiant, the sandy shocks, the Ooh, iron, iron thorns, thorns will score. score. Oh, the ghastly! The ghastly. This, that is an awesome pull. And is there one more card behind it there still? There is indeed, yes. Oh, the and the Macargo, so that's terrible. But. Oh my gosh, I can't help but notice. The, I mean, this is an oh, awesome look at the card, centering. but God, the centering is bad. so bad. You can see like how thin it is over here compared to how thick it is over here. But either way, it doesn't matter because this card is, it, it will pack a bit of a punch, I believe. I think so. Yeah, it's Let's number see, one, 177. Three, I'll sleeve that up for you. Shazam. Oh my gosh, yes indeed. 33. Whoa! 22. So that's going to be a 34 point ghastly. 34 plus the other two rares is going to bring you up to 36. 36 points. Wow. And into the lead goes Annika. Oh my goodness. Team, what a pull. Team Water, who's over there, like, we've never won never. a championship before They're alongside all... Team Fire. It's only Grass and Electric are the only two teams who have ever won. That's crazy. Water just made a crazy play. That did. That's a big, that's a big surge forward, but there there are plenty of cards that can still get other teams there, but maybe they'll be pulled by Team Water. There we go. All right, next up we have Jonathan Valdiva. Love your name, by the way. Fantastic name. Probably the best name I know. Probably a rookie. And a rookie. So brand new player to the game. Let's see. I think it's your pull, though. Right? Did? No, no, I just pulled a gas I just pulled. Yep. Jonathan shall pull for Jonathan. There we go, indeed. Jonathan, stick together, you know. Yes. As it were. Can we pull you something good? Something good. I hope so. I hope so. Bam, Metal Energy, so no type advantage. Azumarill, Yamper, Grubbin, Medicham, Vikavolt, Latias, Great Tusk, Minchino, the Lycanroc will not score, and the Drap. I'm oh, sorry. Man. Jonathan, I failed you. I couldn't even get you into the running for Rookie of the Day. Not even one bit. Let's see, number 138 on the set. Yeah, we pulled this one already, so it just comes in at five cents. Five so cents, One Yikes. single point, so Conrad sitting strong with two points to uh, Jonathan's single point. Wow, unfortunate. Sorry there. Jonathan. Next up, we have got Lockdown. Lockdown. Let's 
kind of a cool name. Sounds like a way to play a card game. You Seems know? like a like a companion to like the Punisher, you know? Yeah. It's like the Punisher and his sidekick. Lockdown. Lockdown. It's like, oh dang, okay, okay, why not? The Punisher is considered one of the worst cards in Marble Snap. Oh, how fun, about that? Fun fact. You play a lot of Marble Snap. I do, I do play a lot I've of noticed, it. I've noticed New that. season starts tomorrow. Oh man. All right, Pucciana? Yeah. Oh wow, look at me go. The Wiglet yeah. will score, the Arbok, the C Dot, the Palafin will score Two twice, points. the Eerie, the Colossal, the, the Snob will score. Oh! Oh, the Iron Boulder! Dang, how about that? Okay, there and we go. Right on to boot. boot. Wow, man. what a pack. I know, man. I Look had, at that Iron Boulder. I had a couple good ones back to back there. Number 217 on the set for the Iron Boulder. Let's see. Are we on last page? It's usually a good sign. What will it do for us? Seven dollars eighty six. Oh man, not as much as the Gasly. Not as much as the Gasly. So right, eight. So eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 points 13 though. points for Team Electric. And Team Electric. They see that move by, by Annika and Team Water and they're just, so they're like, okay, we can't win it all back all at once, but like, we got we're, numbers. We're gonna chip at it. Exactly, they've already got, they're at 25 to Water's big 36 up there. Impressive. So they're they're just moving right up. Impressive, well congratulations. Never a sad day to get a gold card, no I matter know. what the value. So enjoy and, that Iron Boulder. And don't forget, because it's a three pack season, this puts you in a really good spot moving forward. It so, absolutely you know, does, yeah. I think there's some really league. good, like Big Steve potential in there, some uh, yes. some quality eighth place potential. So lots of, lots of good ways to score. All right, next up we have Sierra Cawthorn for Team Grass. Can she get them back in it? Return them to glory, because they were unbeatable for a while. Yes, well, you you know my my theory that Sierra could be the Sierra that played Rec League Soccer with us in Rocky Mountain, Virginia. True. Could kick, kick the ball a mile. Kick the ball a mile. Let's yeah. see if she can score a mile's worth of points here. Gasly Finnison will score. Sableye, Great Tusk, Morty. Oh, it's a critical, it's a four times multiplier, Oh ben. man, okay, what? okay. And the Charger Bug, and it's the Maridon. No! Dang. Disfortunate, I have to say. Yes, what's well, gonna see. be, is it eight points? Eight points, though. I, I mean, mean, not, 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 not a, bad not for a, a Maridon pull. Right, yeah, not a bad stuff. Because you got the eight points there. Yeah, four times multiplier. I'll, I'll make note of it, four times multiplier on here. There we go, there we go. So we'll know in the future that you're a threat, a Sierra. Threat. Yeah, somebody, somebody to watch out for. Goodness me. All right, there you go. There we go, Sierra in the bank for round one. Next up we have John Borg. John Borg. Here we go. Moving on to the back of the card for John Borg. All right, Bon Jorg. Bon Jorgi. Oh, Sounds John Borg looks like they made it into the finals last season for last place. Oh man. Didn't take um, it home. Then let's see, we got the eyeball energy there. We got the cottony, the car, car, I, is it Carvana? Carvana like Piranha. Carvana like Piranha, but I also, there's a car company now called Carvana that it's all oh. up every time. We got the Ekans, the Turtwig will scores. score, the Reunculus. The Mist Energy will score. The Mist Energy will score too. Yes. The Saws Bug, the Turdinator, look at that, okay. <laughs> the Behemian, Behem. <laughs> <laughs> and the Relicant. Ben live reacting to brand new Pokemon. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, five points. points. There we go. Yeah, there we and go. Look at all the scoring metrics. We had the special energy. We had the chase card. We had the type advantage, and your rare. So four different ways to score. Still only five points though. How Either bad. way, well done, John Borg. Way to way to put on a clinic for how to score. All right, next up we have JR, AKA Jellyfish Rookie. Jellyfish Rookie, but not a rookie of the not day, a just a rookie once upon a time, as as everyone was when right. you think about it. Yeah, we were all rookies once upon a time. I don't think we were even doing Rookie of the Day when the, for most people. I know, yeah, I think the Rookie of the Day started somewhere along the way because we, we had the joke about the Olive Garden gift card, which we actually send to people, we just do. in case you guys are wondering. They're right here. Yep. right here. You can go to the garden. Bam. Dark Teardrop Energy for Jellyfish Rookie, Tranquil, Mr. Mime, Raichu, Victini, Bronzong, Booster Capsule, Iron Treads, the Grub and the Shift Tree, and the oh, Scizor! There we go! Nice, I mean, I mean, I mean it yeah. looks like Bulky X, but of course it is part of the Scyther line, which makes it um, extra cool. Yeah, I mean, never, again, you know, full art's a full art, so we got uh, number 111 on the set is worth 68 points, so just one, one point. Uh, 68 and cents. 68 cents, I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, yeah, so probably not a terrific uh, you know, like last placer. Uh, yeah, exactly. But you never know. You never, you never know. All it, the other last placers could could skyrocket up. You they, might be the last one. They could do well, and you could not. Exactly. Think about it. Exactly. You could be the worst. <laughs> Next up is Robot Wiz. Like no one ever was. That's Vincent at the moment. Yeah, that's true. That's Truly, true. like no one else has ever been. Yes. 
In a good way. In a good way. In a way that uh, won cards for him. All right, let's see. Yeah, so yeah. Took home a whole ETB with that win. So. Yes, yes. We got the Metal Energy, the Totodile will score, the Deerling, the Pot of. Yep. Nice. The Pineco, the Boxed Order. That's a boring card. <laughs> the Screamtail. It's a box. It's I just mean, a box. Uh, got the Sableye, the Nuzleaf, the Medicham, and the Iron, Iron Valiant. Valiant. Going to so. be a two-point pack, I'm afraid. There we go. Yeah, just 14 cents on that, that Iron Valiant, so nothing to be terribly excited about. Nothing indeed. All right, next up we have Megan K for Team Water. What can Megan throw down? What was that last pack? I'm sorry. That last pack was two points. Two points. Thank you. Megan K. Let's go, Megan K. Megan. Megan. Boom, all right, Eyeball Energy. We've got the Dunsparce, the Snom. Pikachu the Scyther! Great card, first one this season. Shiftry, Beox, Devotion, Reuniclus, Beldum. Oh, oh, look at that grotto! Oh, it's so cool. I love it. That is a good one. Oh, but look at the, the cut. Terrible cut. I know, what is up like with that? One of its attacks, hilarious. Ah, hilarious. Man. So number 164 on the set. Boy, doesn't we'll change the value out. at all. No, it does not. It would be hilarious to see it be graded. Um, number 164, it's been worth $2.67 for that card. Oh man, so three, four, five point pack here for Megan K. But a cool card nonetheless. No doubt, you got a Scyther here. I'm gonna go ahead and sign that one for you. Oh, for, there you go. I'm pretty sure Scyther is in fact number card number one. It on the is, set. it is yeah. number one in the set, where it belongs. Where it belongs. At number one. Are you gonna sign all the Scythers? Yeah, yeah, if you get a Scyther, I'll sign it for you. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love that, that's so fun. You, I mean, if there's ever Firo in the set ever again, which seems unlikely. Um, you know, you can sign them too. They were in 151. That's true. That's true. It's been it's been more than never, but just not often. Right. All right. Next up, we've got. Oh, dude, Ben, it's Goddess Princess. The one, the only. The you was Goddess Princess in the final round against Vincent. I believe so. I believe so because we were like, Goddess Princess always does this. Always does it. Goddess Princess has been in, in scoring potential. I think just about every single time in some capacity, even if it was a little ironical, it's always been the case. So let's see what's going on for them today. We got the Puchiana. Yeah. Ah, go. I'm getting it. The Wiglet will score. The Arbok will not. The C dot. The site. Man, I've had this pack before. Uh, the there it is again, the Ancient Booster Energy Capsule, <laughs> the Giraffe Rig, which I used to have trouble with, the Skitty, uh, and then the so, Iron Boulder! Oh, the Boulder! There we go, all right, so let's see what this does for us. Number 99, it looks a little bulky, actually. Yeah, we'll I mean, see. the gold version of it was $8, so I'm yeah. not holding out a ton of hope for an old Iron Boulder here, but we'll see. Not so much, just 51 cents, oh, but still, no. I mean, worth mentioning that at least Goddess Princess was able to uh, pull off a full art card. No doubt, no you doubt. Know, still continues to not disappoint in, in the field of play. Right. Well, what's gonna happen is that Steven's gonna get one point, then it'll be like, oh look, Goddess Princess is there for Big Steve. I know, that's exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Although we have to open three packs You're for, right, for Big so Steve he'll be today, at least so a minimum of three. Yeah. yeah. Probably more. All right, next up is Ethereal Squirrel, a longtime player in the game. What can we pull for old F Squirrel here? Now, F Squirrel's been all over the place, points-wise. Back in season seven, they got 64 points. Wow. Oh, one pack. One pack. It's wild. That is very wild. Impressive. Let's see. Hold on. Yeah, here we go. Bam. Try fire, fire engine. Ball. Almost ruined that one. Bronzor, Mudbray, Gas of the Finizen will score the Buddy Buddy Pop. And that's our first one. That's a there three we... point trainer right there. Wow. I yeah. mean, it just looks like a fruitcake. Uh, it's basically, yeah. I mean, poffins are what Pokemon eat to you know, help them in contests, I oh, guess. Oh, I, yeah. I had no idea, but that's fun. Yeah. Okay, Buddy Buddy Poffin. Yeah. There you go. The Sharpedos and the Turtwigs and the Heatmore is not and the Coridon. So the Buddy Buddy Poffin is really doing a lot of work for you here. It's going to be one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven points. Man, for F -Squirrel. F Squirrel doing great. Man, Team Grass, like, I mean, they're not they're not doing anything flashy today, but maybe that's just like part of their strategy coming into it. It's like, yeah. guys, slow and steady. We'll win the race. Yeah. So the Poffin lets you take two Pokemon out of your deck, uh, just put them on your bench right away, which is really good. As long as they have less than or 70 HP or less, which is why it's uh, so valuable. Okay, okay. Yeah. Who's up next? Next up, we have got Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Here we go. Coming out of last season, boy, Elizabeth had a rough season in Alaska. They just had one point, and it was a twenty cent pack. Oh. So they didn't even make it into our big uh, overtime round. 
Well, let's see. Let's see what we can do today. We got the Mawile, the Metatite, the Turdinator, the Hoot Hoot, the Iron Valiant, the Rescue Board, the Rebombi, the Pineco will not score, the Rapidash will not score. Oh, oh the Incineroar! Incineroar! Oh, man, that's awesome. That a, dude, I do actually really love the artwork yes, on it. Yes, that is super cool love looking. the fire behind it. That's great. Which which uh, set is, because Litten is a starter? Litten's a starter in okay. the Alola region, yeah, okay, so Sun okay. and Moon. <laughs> All right, let's see. So the Instant Aurora is going to come in at $2.47. Mm -hmm. So three-point pack there. Love to see it. Hooray, three, Incineroar. Three-point pack, but you know what? Pretty darn cool card. All right, next up, we have got Jeremy Evans, our next rookie contestant of the day. Can they beat two points to uh, take home the Olive Garden gift card? Of course, there's still at least one more rookie out there for the have to... Uh, have to take down. So we'll see. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Jeremy Evans. Don't get. Don't get. You know. Don't get a big head or anything. Right. Right. I mean, it's, two points is not always as easy as it thinks it seems like it should be. It, it, it does seem like it should be easier. Meryl, the Gola, the Elgium. It's even worse than Behem. Latius, Ancient Booster Capsule, the Drampa will does score. score. Yep. The Cottony will not, and the Iron Valiant. So oh, it is going to be two points. Two points. You're so right there. We got a tie. Let's check the total rare card value just so yeah, we can keep we track know the of that. Yeah. Is five cents. Yes, yeah, the Iron Valiant is going to be the other at, at number 80 on the set, yep. which is going to be 14 cents. 14 so. cents. So you're sitting at a solid 19 cents there, Jeremy Evans. Who was our who's our current leader? Uh, Conrad. Conrad. Was it, were they were like the very first person? They were uh, third. third. Yeah. Yes. Let's see. I forget exactly what their uh, what their two was. What their two was. I'm going to have to go back and check it out here, uh, but we'll we'll figure that out later. There you go. Oh, but possible stab at Rookie of the Day? Possible. Well, I mean, not, not the most like flourishful, but you know, we'll see, we'll see. You know, a close win is often more exciting. <clears throat> Next up we have Ariel Stormborn. Am I up? You're up. Okay, all right, Miss Stormborn. Let's see it. All right. Well, let's see, at least some, uh, some water coming out here, so some extra points. We got the uh, to Totodile. Yep. There we go. The Deerling, the Pidove, the Pineco, the Rapidash, the Boltund, the Mudsdale, mm -hmm. the Tranquil will not score, the Solosis will not score, and oh, the no. Melmetal. Is this the one? This is the one. That's the one. So oh sadly, gosh. you pulled the Totodile or else you'd be definitely in last place. This is a two cent card. Oh my gosh. So two points, but just about as lousy of a two points as you could possibly yeah, have because I the know. one point version of it would have been so powerful. It would have been better. So that was, you know, at least we got to show you what the worst card is. And you it's got the to, Mel Metal. You got to be there for us for that occasion. Thank you. Thank you for doing that. Even though it's not good for you. All right, next up we've got Berkeley Comstock. Berkeley Comstock. Yes. Come on, you know what? Berkeley's been putting up numbers. We got 28, 8, 8, 20, 8, 10. So, so an affinity, affinity for 20s and 8s. Yes, no doubt. Let's see. That'd be so funny if we could do that again. All right, Grass Energy. The Dunsparce, the Snom, Pikachu, the Scyther, the Metagross, the Roserade, the, the Caldea, Caldea, the Bramblin, the Croconaw, and the oh Metagross. Oh my gosh, no look way. at that. Wow, so four points. There we, there go. we so go. Four points for Berkeley. And of course, we'll sign your Scyther for you there. Yeah, naturally. Yeah. I mean, got to. There you go. Bam. What a special thing happened this season. Right? Yeah. And it's, it's, it's a, there's a, like, a surprising number of sets with Scyther in them. I know, I know. And he's always kind of like right up there near the top. Because yeah. grass always comes first in the order list. Yeah, I know. If they could ever make like a like a grass scissor or a metal Scyther, that'd be great. Because then you could play them together in GLC. Ugh. But because one evolves into another type, never happens. It never happens. <laughs> uh, anyway. Whoa, calm down there, I'm brother. I'm sorry. Ah! Ah! Oh no. Oh no. no. no You've ruined the everything. integrity of the game. I'm sorry. Now it's not random. <laughs> it is. Uh, next up, we have got Brick Frog. Brick Frog, which always reminds me of Crazy Frog. This Bye. is the Butt Rick Frog. Yeah, there we go. Just like that. All right, let's see. So we got the Fireball Energy, <laughs> got the Beldum, the Breloom, the Roly Coley, the Heat More, the Hand. No, you gotta be kidding. Hand trimmer. The hand trimmer? Hand trimmer. Who's trimming their hand? Who hands? are you trimming your hand? What are you trimming with it? Maybe it's a, your Pokemon hand. Your, your Pokemon hands? Well, well, like, you know, you have a hand of cards. Like, what's in oh, your hand? Oh, yeah. You know, Let's like, see. Each player discards from their hand until they have five cards in their hand. Still. 
It's it's a weird one. It's a weird it's one. It's a weird one. The Rabska, yeah. the Iron Jugulus will not score. The Sizzlepeed will not score. Oh, I don't know why I even said that with Iron Jugulus. It never would have anyway. The C Dot and the Iron, Iron Thorns. Thorns. Wow, just a singular little point down there yeah. for how many points? How many cents? It's gonna be seventeen cents for Brick Frog. Man, kind of a kind of a powerful one pointer. Excuse me, Yawn. Jeez, <laughs> such a boring conference. <laughs> Iron Thorns. Yeah. I roll. I roll. Big yawn energy. Next up, we've got Dalton Green. Arch nemesis of the Blue Swede. The Blue Swede. Okay. Look at all these cards just flimsing flams and around in the box. I'm sorry. I didn't mean no to. No sense at all. Yeah. No sense whatsoever. Indeed. All right. Here we go. What do we got for Dalton here? We've got the Metal Energy, the Melton, the Nuzly, Minchino, Rockruff, Iron Treads, Buddy oh. Buddy Boffin, Lycanroc, Explorers, Guidance, the Mudsdale, and oh, oh the Iron Crown. Okay. okay, so the illustrator version of this is the big card in the set. That one's worth like 96. But either way, this card is super competitive, so I suspect that the full art version is still pretty great. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Thirteen dollars <clears throat> forty-seven cents. So fourteen plus three is going to be seventeen points. Seventeen points. Oh man! Which is going to put them in what second place? A second place, and I think both Team of our, our big hitters today are from Team Water. Yeah. So just between those two, they're at fifty-three points for Team Water. Whoa. That is a powerful position to be in. This is Team Water coming out of the offseason saying like, no more. We are to be taken seriously. That's right. And you know what, guys? We see you. We see it. The flood has begun. The flood has begun. There All right, Jay, look at this. Look at this. I'm pulling from. Oh, pulling. you're doing one of these. I'm doing one of these. Now, if this is like an insane pack, people will be like, wow, they're I see. Like, they're going to be like, wow, I bet, you, I bet you weighed it. Because yeah. uh, as always, Xander, Xander. is uh, at least currently my Ben's favorite, favorite player. player. So yeah, lots of favoritism. Lots of favoritism. You know, me and me and Xander go way back to season four. So um, as those, you know, Jay and everybody yeah. else who's been along with the show. But we got the Bramblin', the Giraffe Rig, the Roselia, the Cutie Fly, the Ferretress, the Full Metal Lab, the Go Lurk, the Tora Cat will not score. Is this what Litton revolves into? Yep. Okay, look at me go. The Lycan Rock and the, the Dunspar. Sorry. Wow. So if you guys thought I was showing favoritism, I mean, goodness. Nope. Just the Dunsparce. That is, uh, yeah, unfortunate. What is that one going to be worth? 14 cents, 14 for, cents. Uh, for my favorite player, Xander. There you go. Better than the uh, Iron Thorns, I guess. In terms of last place. In terms of last place. That's yeah. right. That's right. Exactly. All right, next up, we've got Jackinator and Dakinator. And if I recall, Ben, it has never been a better time to be like a uh, like a power couple. A power couple in, power couple in the game, yeah. Our... Haley and Colin took home first place overall. They did last and season. Another, who someone took home like eighth place. I think it was a different, there was another couple winner. Okay, okay, yep. Yeah. yeah. Let's see if they can, They if Jackinator and Dakinator can put up the big points though. Sizzlepeed, Meryl, Golet, Elgium, Excadrill, Delmize, Electivire, the Rock Ruff, the Mr. Mime, and the Bramble Gas, wow. which I think narrowly missed out on being the worst card in the it, set. It did. Five cents for that Bramble oh, Gas. Boy. So let's keep track of that for future last place awardings. Well, sorry, um, Jackinator and Dakinator. I talked you up and then... Hey, I mean, they, they could be taking... I mean, it's not a bad stab at, at true. last place. That's I mean, true. If somebody pulled out like 34 points right now we wouldn't look at we wouldn't look at them and be like wow annika has you crushed that's true you know? we'd be so, like oh we're right back in exactly it. exactly all right next up we've got benjamin harden all right hey look you pulled for uh jonathan and i'm pulling for a benjamin wow what do you know what do you know there you go you ever go by jonathan uh, yeah, most people in my real life call me Jonathan. The funniest thing in the world to me is that on the internet, he's primarily known as Jay. Yeah. But uh, in real life, he's primarily known as Jonathan. That's because you were like the only person in my real life who calls me Jay. And I'm the one who's and always talking to you. And you're the one who talks to me all by it, so. <laughs> yeah. You got the Breloom, Roly Coley, LG. GM, yeah, the Unpheasant, sure. the Eerie, the Centiscorch, the Ghastly, the Breloom will not score. No, the but it's a critical hit on the Breloom. Oh, but it is. Yeah, there we go. For oh, the, for but it's on the for alligator. Oh, so it's just two points. Just two points, man. I think I did a little bit better than you did for Jonathan. Uh, am, am I correct or am I wrong? I I think I did pretty bad. I, I think, think you got one point. point. Yeah. yeah. It's okay, we'll go ahead and uh, cover up oh, the- Oh, there we uh, go. Beautiful, beautiful. Make sure we censor your card for you. Exactly. It's a family-friendly show, I know. Come on, I know. He's not even showing the butt on this one. Not even at all. Well, just in case. Just in case. You know, I don't want your your mind to go to dark places. Just don't let it wander. That's don't right. let it wander. That's, that's right. <laughs> 
<laughs> Next up, we've got Sammy, Ben's probable sister-in-law. A probable sister-in-law, indeed. I mean, yeah. it, it's one of these things where my actual underlying hope is that the rumor will eventually get out to my sister-in-law, Sammy, and she will sign up for the show specifically so I can open packs for her and indeed. she can just blow my mind. Be with, hilarious. I know, I'm like, what? Oh my gosh, I, I so hope that happens. All right, Shroomish, Lickitung, Charger Bug, Del Caddy. Is that the first one of those we pulled? Maybe. I, have we pulled any Licky Lickies? Lucky? No, Licky Lickies. We have a critical hit, though, on the Shroomish. We have the Go Lurk and the Coridon, no, which I'm pretty sure it's Bulky X because I looked at it while we were looking at the yeah. scoreboard and I was like, poor Coridon is always getting the short end of the stick. Yeah. We'll double check for safety as per always, but number 120 on the set is just seeing we're 43. Oh sets. my gosh, that's a two point pack on the critical hit. I hate oh, it. Oh, I'm sorry, possible sister-in-law, Sammy. There you go. But you know what? You're coming off of a 51 point pack, so that was pretty good. That is pretty good. Oh, yeah. I think you left some cards behind. Oh. Jeebs! Jeebs! Not bad. All right, next up is our final rookie of the day. It's Nadian Herrera. Nadian? All right, let's see here. So, Nadine. Maybe Nadine. That's probably Nadine? Nadine. Oh, Nadine! Nadine! Nadine Herrera. Herrera. That's okay. a cool name, Nadine Herrera. Well, let's see what we can do for you. Can you beat more than two points, is the question. Two points. We haven't had any ace specs in this box yet. None That's whatsoever. a little bit surprising. But maybe this pack. That would be great. We got the the knocked owl, the, the crocodile will score. And the licky licky will oh, score. yeah, there we go. The licky licky so this is finally. Do it. We got the matang, the Ferretris, the Vika Vika Volt. Volt, the Latia, the Latias, yep. uh, the Bronzong, the Meryl, and the, the Gengar. Gengar. There we go. Cool. I love a Gengar. Right? Who doesn't? Number 104 on the set was worth $1.22, so tips and the scales two, three, for two, four. two points. Great rounding. So yeah, four points for Nadine, who is going to be taking home the Olive Garden gift card for Woo! our rookie of the day. Well, it was a close fight. There you go. I'll put in your uh, gift card right there. Enjoy that. Get some breadsticks on us. You there know? we go. Enjoy. Let us know how it goes. <laughs> All right, next up we have Jess. Who has pulled, uh, whose claim to fame is that they've pulled possibly the single best card in the history of this game. Yes. Which was that Alt Art Lugia. Was that it? The yeah, Alt Art Lugia. Yeah, for back in 229 points. Yes, yes, yes. So well done to Jess back in the day. Uh, coming off of just a single point season, though. So let's see if we can pull something big for Jess. A return to form. A return to form, were. yes. You want to see the champions do champion type things. Exactly. But, you know, for me, I want to see everybody do champion type things. I cannot believe we have four. Well, I mean, like, it seems like we should have hit an ace spec by now. I wanted to, I want people to see what they look like. The Turtonator, the Hoo Hoo, the Explorer's Guide, the Colossal, the Perilous Jungle, <gasps> Critical Head on the Colossal, the Finison, and the Roaring oh, Moon. No! Man. But so it's two times two with the critical hit is going to be, gonna be four just a four points, points for Jess. There. there we go. Well, you know, it happened. We had all, the Colossal. All pros have their off days. Yeah. You still hit a critical hit. You, you know? still hit it. Yeah, there we go. There we go. They're still reading the wind, as it were. They're just not hitting. Oh, man, man. Here we go. It's Big Steve. All right. Let's see here. We're doing... We're doing this. These guys have been pulled from all over the place. We got Big Steve's three packs all lined up. Right, so now we know what we're aiming at for the season. Yes, indeed. So Steve always gets all of his packs at once. Big Steve, as a reminder, is one of the co-creators of this show and our good friend in real life. And so we have forever honored him by the in the show by including packs for him that you are now competing with. So if, yes, if you finish the end of the season directly ahead of Big Steve, you uh you also win an uh, elite trainer box. You do indeed. All right, so we got the eyeball energy, the ghastly, the elgium, the sizzle pea, the Merrill, the palafin will score, scores. the eerie, the colossal, the beldum will not score, the shiftry will not score, and the, the roaring, roaring moon. moon will score. Let's just leave that there. Okay, so that's going to be three points, right? Yeah. Because we yeah, have the actually, palafin yeah. as the randomly chosen common chase card. Right. So all right, we're going from another one of our spare boosters here. Let's see. I feel like, I mean, it feels like the hand scales feel good about this pack. Oh, but, yeah? But, you know, you, I mean, it's always hard to say. Let's see it. Let's what do we see got it. here? Let's see. We got the, okay, so oh, we got the type got, advantage. The multiplier. We this got is a weird one, too, because what the type advantage is when Steven plays is like all three are locked in at that one. It's true. It's <laughs> true. We got the Beldum, the Heatmore, the Roly Coley. <gasps> the... I spy an ice spec, Ben. Oh, boy. Oh, here we go. The Scentus Scorch. The oh, Buddy, 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 Buddy Poffin on the multiplier. The maximum Beldum. Oh, no. Steven's 
going to be in first. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Goodness this gracious. This, I think, is like a 15 point. Let's see. Let's Will see. he be in first? We're about to find out. All right, so I number 154 so. on the second. So we've got 36. I know, but the Buddy Buddy Poffin's going to, I think it's going to barely tip him over. You're right. So the maximum belt on that A-spec card is going to come in at $14.73. So 15. So 15. 18, 19 times two is 38. Is 38. So, gosh. So, the thing is, it's going to take a while to knock Steven off, too, probably, because he has all three packs at once. He does indeed. Okay. So, this is going to be interesting. So, his real score, so his like week one score was three, his week two score was 38. So, he presently has a total of 41. Okay. Which, so Boy, so I have a feeling it's not going to be a tight race for Big Steve this time around. No, maybe not. Do you want to Dude, take the last the one for him? Maximum belt. I That's literally amazing. went to the went to the car shop and bought this in person the other day. Because you opened it. two boxes. Oh, I got like four out of the six A specs, and that wasn't one of them. So man, this is such a good card. Wow. Anyway, all right, here we go. Let's see. Final Big Steve. He's going to be pleased with this one. Oh, my hand scales were right. You were right. You they were right. Yamper, Grubbin, Frostmoth will score. Full Metal Lab. Go Lurk, Shaman, Latias. Oh, the Deerling and the Bramble, guys. Look at that cute little the Deerling. The Deerling is adorable. Oh. I don't want it to be. It feels like one of those classic cases where I'm like, that art is too good to not be worth more. Well, what's fun about this one is there's the Salsa Buck that it's running to over here. So there's like a matching card. Are you kidding me? That's the most adorable thing I've ever heard. I know. I know. Salsa Buck. And, it's, and the thing is, they went big on the Autumn Sauce Buck, which is our favorite Sauce Buck. Because it's the, to me, that's the James Potter card. Okay, so we've got the Deerling coming in at $5.29. So that'll roll six, up to six. Seven. Eight. Yes, eight yes. plus 41 is 49 points. 49 points oh for my Big Steve, gosh. who then is going, this is going to like sort of skew the numbers a little bit, not a ton depending on how the rest of the season goes, but that means Electric jumps out with another 49 points, so a very commanding lead. Wow, he is, he's not gonna be sad about this. No, he's not. The maximum belt is very usable. <laughs> there we go. All right, so wow. we'll tuck all those together. So he started started off quiet, ended with a bang. Well done to Big Steve. A bang. The thing is, though, it's Big Steve does still score for his team overall. So yes, Team so. Electric just got 49 points yes. added into the hopper. So it is gonna get real tight real quick. Wow. wow. The thing is, Steven would have been, like, had we just pulled the maximum belt pack, that would have been enough for first place anyway. Right, right. On its own. Unbelievable. So Unbelievable. really good little run there. Let's see. Next up we have got Cartavian. Uh coming in. Big time, big crowd favorite here. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull one of them. You won't be yeah, there we go. Because I mean you here. feel like there's still supposed to be one of those. I feel I know. Left. I'm like, there's gotta be another ace spec in here, right? Like someone, not that I have any idea. This is that's only been the average. That's not like a hard and fast rule or anything. Bam, we have the Eyeball Energy, Slugma, Solosis, Skitty, Electabuzz, Heavy Baton, the, the Mist, Mist energy. energy will score six. Oh, I was right! The Reboot Pod! Wow, there's that, the Delmas, and the Roaring Moon. So wow. suddenly we're heating up here. How much is the Reboot Pod worth? Is it as good as the Maximum Belt? No, it's not. No? Oh my gosh, $2.79. Oh, so it's, oh, it's significantly be... worse. Yeah, there's the, it's right underneath on the list, the Prime Catcher, which is another A-Spec card. Number 157 on the set's worth $3105. Oh. So it's like right there. So how, how much was it? Three? Uh, I think three points, yeah. Let me double check just yeah. for safety. Yeah. Uh, the reboot pod, $2.79, so three, three, four, five, six. Six points. Wow. Not bad. At least you get the ace spec card, but wow, missed it by one on the maximum belt. Boy, that catcher card there for 30 points, that's going to show up at some at point. At some point. I mean, the, point. I feel like the ace spec cards are going to be the story of the season because there's going to be like two in a box so far. This, this is like, like, the, like the hollow energies, I feel like. It's like this, yeah. this season's version of that. Right. So, okay. Here we go. All right, we've got, yeah, three packs left on the day. Next up, we've got another Lauren. Another Lauren, mm -hmm. our third one today. Well, in the in the clan of Laurens. Yes. Of course, one of them is not Lauren, but right. you know, yeah. I still it's like so, to think I put that, them in there. I like to think that they include include not Lauren. Yeah. All right, let's see here. So we got the Rockus Pumping ener Energy, <clears> the Sizzlepeed, the Meryl, the Golet, the Elgium, the Delmize, yep. the Electric. Electivire, the Chinchino, the Sable. I think the Chinchino is worth like 95 cents. It's almost worth an yeah, extra point. It's pretty wild. The Sableye will not score. The, oh, oh, but we got a critical hit. Critical hit. On the, there we go. 
And the Torterra, so the you did hit a card, but is it going to be just bulk EX? It feels uh, like it's a front pager, 40 cents. Uh, I think that's about as low as it goes. Man, is that the, the worst EX, EX card? card? It no, might no. be. Yikes, that's a two-point pack. But you got uh, an EX. You got a critical hit. It's fun, another Lauren. There you go. All right, let's see. Next up, I, I knew Steven was going to do this someday. I know, I know. Like, Sorry. It's just a matter of time. What are the, the two other points? One get? Two points. Yeah. Okay. All right. Next up, we are down to our last two people. It's Matthias coming in season eleven for Team Grass. I haven't opened one of these at all yet. Okay. Do it. Do it. We got. Do we both throw things yeah. at the same time? Nice. Let's see that in the instant replay. How satisfying. How do you all feel about right. the pack? You know what? I don't. I don't know if I, I don't know if it's good. Well. 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 I stand to be corrected. Well, and a Pikachu. Well, a sizzle Pete. Well, oh my gosh, it's turning into a much better pack than I thought. Explorer's got the dud. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Oh. Okay, yep. And the Iron Horde. Oh. So, you know what? It's really not that bad, though, because it's got the multiplier. So, it's yeah. still, what, uh, three, four, five, ten points. Ten points is really not you bad. Know, for, really not for bad. Kicking into first year here. And it, you get a Scyther, which is really maybe the best part. It reminded me a lot of that Kombucha Girl, uh, like, like, meme, you know, where it's like the, like, what? Oh, hmm. Ah! Was it Kombucha? I thought it was LaCroix. Oh, maybe it's LaCroix. I don't know. I always thought it was Kombucha. Yeah. But, um, either way, that's, that's, I feel like that was our emotions. We yeah. were like, eh, it's probably not good. Or is well, it? Well, okay. that's something. Not stock points, is, but stock it's is, nicer. Stock is going up. All right, let's All close right. out the day. Final contestant of the day is Palo Azul. Palo Azul. All right, let's see here, Palo. It says, all right, it said... Buddy old Palo. It's an azul, azul like bull. So azul. Azul. Azul like bull. Okay, well, we got the teardrop. Oh energy. my gosh, another. Right. Here we go. We got the Meltan. So we got the multiplier. We got the, the Nuzleaf, the Minchino, the Rockruff, the, the Chinchino, Chinchino, the Delcaddy, the Explorer's Guidance, the Roly Coley will not score, the Matang will not score, and the Iron, Iron Thorns. Thorns. This is going to be a two point so pack. So just a two there point pack to close out the day. But either way, an exciting episode. Man, really? I mean, we got, we got Big Steve's 49 points which to be fair was across three different packs but then we yes. also got Dalton Green 17 points we had Lockdown's 13 points Annika's 36 points so I mean really stuff was happening like all over the spectrum yes. Mateus are uh yeah got 10 points there right at the end so just just impressive showing I think right all the way around definitely a fun start to a new season oh my gosh and to think that this this is the scores after the like the first round of round one. I know, you know, yeah, yeah. Like it's a three pack season, so I just who knows how these points could stack up by the end. It feels like there's enough people with big points that someone's gonna get a second round of big points. I, I know, I know. I yeah. mean, that's that's really what we gotta look out for. I mean, you know, Big Steve I think kind of proved that, that there can be a little bit of that going Absolutely. on. Absolutely, anyway. he already yeah, did so. it to, to some extent. Yeah, so very, very exciting start to the season. As ever, we have just basically opened up more slots. So if at any point in time you would like to come on board, there is currently room available. You can go and check it out at uh, patreon.com slash supercarlingaming, selecting any of the box breakers tiers. If you're interested in being on any of the specific teams, of course, at the end of the season, the team competition does result in a fun commemorative collectible pin that you can only receive from us if you happen to be on one of the winning teams yeah. here on Box Breaker. So a very hard, to get. very hard to get, very exclusive pin, and we're just waiting for someone other than Team Grass and Team Electric to actually take it home. Although Team Electric's not just such a strong... Oh, Team Water's in there too. Team Water's in there. I think it's going to be pretty strong neck and neck at least going into to the next round of packs. So if you guys are interested, again, link in the description down below. But otherwise, until next time, Hariyama! Hariyama!